Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to rotate the layout of your Android app using the own touch listener in your Android app. So let's begin. Let's create a simple layout. Rotate the screen. And place all things I will leave it as it is and click finish and wait for the environment to load. It may take a while. Environment is loaded now. Uh, code is very simple. Okay, I will also start the emulator in parallel. And first and foremost, I will quickly do my layout over here. So, in layout, I will not do anything much apart from just like making this size is a bit bigger. So, it is pretty much clearly visible. Probably 234 could be a good size. And making it probably bold. So, it's all cosmetics, nothing else. And apart from that, probably I'll just add my channel name, which is programmable. Yeah. So that's all. So we'll be using this layout and we'll turn it into orientation and let's skip mode. So let's just start. So first and foremost, I'll define few class variable. Please note, I have also started a mutant parallel. So at any point of time, it may come up on the right hand side. Yeah. And the previous x comma previous y yeah so this is basically we'll keep a record of our previous uh, dimensions yeah so it has come up it has didn't uh, take our layout i think probably next plan it will take it i'll just minimize it for now and continue my java code yes and apart from this the only other thing what we we'll need is to implement the on touch event listener this particular method and probably we can just modify it to return true and in this method only we'll do all things whatever is required so first and foremost i'll do one thing i'll use a switch case and here i'll do a get action and here i put case which is basically most event dot action underscore so yeah there are different actions so i think i'll take this move so if you notice there is no action as rotate so yeah if that was there then it would have made our life easy or easier uh so we'll use this move and we'll be using this one to do our computation of movement okay so but before that what i'll do is i'll also create two class variables one will be x and that will be from this event i'll do Git get x and similarly so this is the current position and previous position we are anyway getting it from our class variable which is previous x and previous y but before uh, i post i'll do one thing uh, here is our we have to make sure that we update this previous x and previous y with the correct value whatever we received in this on touch event uh, uh, method okay so if i continue over here i will define again two local class variable which is delta x and it will nothing but okay i'll do one thing in absolute form i'll x minus previous x so why i am doing it in an absolute form because i want to remove the any part of like uh, negative and positive so i just want to take it in a positive form always whatever with the uh, yeah a direction in the moment happens if you want more precise understanding then you can uh, do it uh, based on the sign but i want to keep it simple in this one so if this yeah so in above we will take delta of the moment which is basically x and y if i can bring my layout back so like if so this will be x the horizontal and vertical is y so say if, if a person moves x this way so that will be, uh, it will take delta x so movement from here to here if it moves here so it will take delta y but x will be zero but if it moves this way or this way then it will take both x de delta x and delta y both will come so you'll see if dx and dy both are greater than some value so probably i think uh, value greater than uh, 10 could be a good one uh, so i just tried it you can try what fits best for your app then do the movement so in this case i'll do one more thing I'll compare, I'll check what is the 
orientation right now so requested orientation and if this is equal to say for example activity info dot portrait then change it to landscape so for that we what we can do set uh, orientation and you can just change it to landscape yes else so i'm just toggling between uh, uh portrait and landscape else do one thing control c control v and skip instead of landscape change it to portrait so that's all and i think why it's giving error is we are by mistake we see it is okay over here is giving some money you should not lock on ah i know i mean but it's uh uh, Android prefers that you give unspecified. However, in this app, we want to control the orientation, so that's fine. So you can either insert, I think there will be suppress thing, something like that, or you can leave it for now. And there's another warning here. Has too few. Okay, I think I agree. We should replace it by if this is a much more cleaner code over here. I agree on this part. Uh, so switch case is uh, relevant if you have more than one case at least. So here is more relevant to just use if. So I'm returning and let's see how it comes up. So I think more or less code looks good now. Yeah, so it came up. Ah, perfect. So okay, perfect. So if you see, I just uh, rotate. So if I rotate it again, it will rotate back, right? So. So why sometimes doesn't react because this values what you have given right that has to be correctly taken up yeah so i'm just changing to landscape to portrait here and if you are like willing uh, thinking like why it is not coming the other way uh, it's all depends on the direction of your phone but here as we are locking the orientation right so uh, this will go to the default way of showing the landscape and portrait mode so not the other way yeah. so that's all i wanted to show you in this quick video uh that how easy it is to detect the any kind of rotation and then uh change the uh, layout or lock the layout as per your requirement uh to uh, either portrait or landscape i'm not sure why it is yeah okay so sometimes too sensitive over here so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestion then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to the channel thank you